Welcome, welcome. So this is me heading over to Jaipur, the capital of Rajasthan. I've actually done most of the highlights in Rajasthan and this should be my final stop. I am going to be doing the Golden Triangle which includes Jaipur, Agra and Delhi. So this is Jaipur. Jaipur is known for being the pink city which is very exciting. I'm going to be looking at the palaces and I can't wait to see the Amber Palace or the Amber Fort where the Maharaja used to live. It's going to be a very luxurious experience, especially on an elephant. So we're going to start with Hawa Mahal just because it's on the way and take it from there to the gorgeous palace. Windows. Behind that, the queens of Jaipur, the royal ladies you can see, they used to sit and they used to see the procession on the streets. In older times, the, there was no dividation of the streets. It was a very big street. And behind this, those queens used to see. It's like a crown. It's like a crown of God Krishna. Olden time, the color of the Sava Bell was yellow. Later, the eighth ruler of Jaipur, when he colored the whole city pink, he painted this in pink. But the actual color of Jaipur is not pink. It's terracotta, it's a brick color. After crushing the bricks, then the pink. So this is me heading over to Amber Fort, or as they call it, Amber Palace. This is the most beautiful building you're gonna come across in Jaipur, and in my opinion, Rajasthan. The construction is made of red sandstone and marble. Palace itself is laid out on four levels. Each level has its own courtyard. In my opinion, the courtyards are the most beautiful places, perfect places to take pictures. <laughs> I've never thought I'd ever ride an elephant in my life. Look at this. <laughs> So this is me taking an elephant all the way up to the main entrance to the gate of the fort. The elephant is so beautiful. Back then the Maharaja used to commute up and down the fort or his palaces on an elephant. The Maharaja used to consider elephants as a sign of wealth and prosperity. Nowadays they're just treated like luxury. So uh, this is part of our experience in India. <laughs> houses then they got the money from there. long wall with the 27 guard points and uh, over there you can see this wall is protecting the city from the attackers and the wild animals oh, in older nice. time we have tigers uh, and tigers. now we have panthers over there that side oh, panthers. yes panthers we have here and this was an older residence you can see so you can't walk on the wall <laughs> <laughs> 
to look at the Panthers. <laughs> what? Got that much, you know, pressure. That's yes. why you can see the forts, water. Then we started the construction. Of and we will see the last courtyard of Amir Fort, Raja Man Singh first, who got married 12 times. Oh, wow. So he. <laughs> oh, I give him food. Oh, baby. Oh, what are you? Oh. I gotta give you a high five. I can't believe it. I wanna try. Baby! Oh. Can you selfie with me, bro? Highly trained and highly armed bodyguards of Maharaja used to live here in the quarters. Here, like one man can fight with five. And here, Maharaja used to give the war speech, and after got the victory, from here, Maharaja used to give the victory speech to the army. And this is we call Sun Gate, Suraj Pole, the facing towards east, the sun rising from there. This is we call Chand Pole, the gate, Moon Gate over that side here. And here, Maharaja used to also announce the policies for like, rules and regulations, new tax schemes here. And Maharaja used to inform the public. And if the public is facing any kind of problem, they can directly tell to the Maharaja. There is already one case, case going on. Maharaja found someone guilty. Maharaja said, take him there and hit him 100 times with the hunter. Oh. That was a punishment at that time. <laughs> was his judgment fair? <laughs> yes. No. Maharaja used to give Maharaja all those knowing. So you have that much guts to ask Maharaja like I want justice. Yeah. Like Maharaja is giving, you know, serious, serious punishment. Because Maharaja do not even spare his own son. Yes. There is a king in Rajasthan who gave his own son a death punishment. Wow. No. So that's why people... But doing what? I don't Elephant holding the lotus flower like this. And you can see in the center, floral design. This floral design comes under Islamic architect of style. It will feel you like eyes. Very cool. It's all the mark of pillar. Ganesh pole gate without the permission of Maharaja no male person were allowed inside for example I am the guard here and you are the queen you are going I cannot show the back to you so I have to see the dog if I saw you I have to be ready for the serious punishment that was a rule at that time can you guess why Maharaja used to do multiple marriages it's political like, it's political reasons yes. and everyone was fighting if lot of princess Maharaja used to get married in that in future, that kingdom will not attack Maharaja.
because the king. For the woman, Suhag means husband. Ah. So whenever Maharaja used to go for a long, long journey, and she was waiting, and she don't know what's happening to my husband, what he's facing, and all these things. So here, here she used to light up the lamp to the God here in the here only. Ah. Like she waits here for the Maharaja. In northern India, the girls were not allowed to go out of their houses. So you can imagine the level of education, no education to the girls. She opened the first girls public school of North India in Jaipur. One time, how much I have been there, we will go for a lunch and after lunch, we will see RI, Rajasthan Industry. Over there, you will see the big photograph like our president of India honoring our art. I've been Veggie yeah. for yeah, four sorry. years. Oh, so you could I had plenty of time. Yeah. We weren't allowed to go to McDonald's either. <laughs> I'm not sure it's like true. It's a good reason to tell you though, because it would scare you off. Yeah. yeah, but no, but we like. Specific just like I think it was 20 when I had my lunch. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, because it doesn't actually look nice. Done, done of me. It looks great. I think it looks really processed. And then it's like, oh, this actually tastes really nice. It's really cool. Maybe you can swim there. Going to that one. <laughs> and so back side of the water palace, you can see the dam over that side. The river. <laughs> so Maharaja used to stay here. If Maharaja needs someone, like they call. <laughs> Uh, you have to take the permission. Palace, we are the king of Jaipur, currently living right now. was a dancing hall. So Maharaj made this like a like a pyramid. Mm. Yeah. Wait, like, wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Now it's off. Now it's off. This is so peaceful. Love it here. Calcium on the ceiling. Water gold painting. Wow. 
So God Ram, he uh, he was a very he's a complete man. He was a good husband, good father, most complete man you can say. So God uh, Ram was sent by his own father in forest for 14 years of exile. He went for 14 years along with him, his wife, Goddess Sita, and one younger brother, God Lakshman. They three went in the forest, and after some time, the, that evil of Sri Lanka, what he took, he kidnapped the wife of God Rama. Yes, <laughs> and taking her to Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, there is a place over there. Over there, she refused to accept that evil, that monster. Like he kept on saying, like my Lord will come and will save me. So God Ram, he was the king. He was a complete man. He can do multiple marriages and all this thing, but he loves Goddess Sita. Found the army of monkeys. You know, monkeys. Yes, that's why one of the or important god of Hindu religion, a monkey god, Hanuman, the monkey god. Yeah. So because that evil got the special blessing that nobody, no, no man army can kill. No god army will kill. So only like oh, which thing is left? The lions and all that can kill. So only monkeys are left. So he formed the army of monkeys, and then he attacked on that evil and he killed. God Ram killed Ravan, and then after saved his wife, after completing 14 years, he came back to the kingdom. That day we celebrate Diwali because our God oh, okay. came to the kingdom back, and he became the king again. So this, that's why we celebrate Diwali. Hall Museum. It's actually not that bad. It looks cute. It's not massive, but I love the architecture.